everyone, I'm Natasha. I'm getting in the Halloween spirit tonight. I'm about to talk about my fears and I am house sitting by myself with a dog. I'm never by myself. I always have someone with me. So I'm about to get like a little freaked out. I've never talked about my fears before. I have several of them. I'm only gonna talk about like four today and talk about some stories that have happened to me. I like scary things. I do, uh, but I don't like going to those like haunted houses and stuff. I hate those things. I don't like actually being in like the scary circumstances. I don't like, no. Uh -uh. However, I love scary movies so much. I love scary movies, I love scary books, I like feeling that, but like, you know, not actually physically being scared. Today I wanted to share with you a very scary book. It's super scary. It's, it's a retelling of a play called Mary Rose, and it is titled the same, Mary Rose by Jeffrey Gerard. This is a ghost story, it's a haunting ghost story. So Adaptive Studios, who have kindly sponsored this video today, have challenged me to tell my most like haunting, scary, paranormal story that has ever happened to me. Nothing has ever happened to me! Yay! So I believe in this stuff, so I stay away from it, cause I know better. Nothing so far has ever happened to me. Knock on wood, praise the Lord Jesus. I believe in Jesus, and of course I believe in hell and all those fun things that come along with it. Um, so yes, nothing has happened to me, but I do have a lot of my fears that I wanna share with you. Freaking myself out. <laughs> I love a good ghost story, and this one sounds right up my alley, because guess what? It's set in Scotland. And guess where I just went? Scotland. So Mary Rose, as a young girl, disappeared for like 30 days. No one knew where she went, and she reappeared in the same spot. Her parents had taken her on a vacation to one of the Scottish islands. She had no idea what happened to her. She still cannot recall what happened to her. Years later, she gets engaged to this beautiful man. They're a very attractive couple. They have everything. They travel back to England to get the parents' blessing, you know, to continue their engagement and to get married, you know, very traditional. Then her fiance, Simon Blake, learns about this disappearance that happened. He had no idea that she mysteriously disappeared for 33 days. He kind of gets obsessed with this and starts investigating. While he continues to investigate, Mary Rose's behavior starts changing. He uncovers things beyond his most terrifying fears. Terrifying fears, that's what I have. I have a couple of them I wanna share with you guys today. Let's talk about some of my things that I hate. <laughs> Public nudity. This is a fear that has been semi-realized because of things happening in my real life. Never purposely have done this, obviously. However, at my old house, in the bathroom, there were two windows. One was right above the toilet and one was in the shower. For some reason, for like 12 years of my life, we never used that shower. Apparently it never worked. So when I was 13, I'm like, mom, I really wanna see if this shower works. You said it never works. Okay, sure, fine. We'll try out the shower. We had like three bathrooms and like the downstairs shower didn't work and it worked later on when we got older. The only shower we used was my mom's master bedroom shower. I wonder if this had anything to do with her not wanting to clean things. We tried out the shower. The pipes hadn't been used in like 12 years. It worked, stupid. It was a new house too. It wasn't like an old house. One Christmas, I was taking a shower, you know, after school, I was washing off the grime off of me. I hear things happening outside, like on our house. I don't think too much of it. I think, oh, my mom's just like hosing down the driveway or she's cutting the shrubs or, oh, the gardeners are outside right now. Not really thinking that my dad had hired someone to put Christmas lights up on our house. Yeah, you know where this is going, right? This is the shower. Shower head is behind me, window is right in front of me. It's not like a huge window, it's like a square window kind of up. Corner of my eye, I see something like, what? what's that? Continuing to, you know, wash my hair, and then I hear like a bang. And there is a man's hand right in front of the shower. I'm like, you know, 15 years old, freshman year of high school, and I freak out. The thing's going through my head like, oh my gosh, why is there a man on my roof? He's trying to get in, he's trying to see me naked. What the heck is going on? In my fear of being seen naked, I scramble out of the shower and you know there's a shower curtain. Yeah, I fall, I slip, bring the shower curtain down with me and I make a whole huge hubbub. The man does look into the bathroom because he wonders what happened. Fortunately, I had a shower curtain on top of me so everything was fine. <laughs> From then on out, I made sure every time my dad scheduled the Christmas light people to take down the Christmas lights or put up the Christmas lights to tell me when they were coming.
big one that I've always struggled with, and I'm pretty sure I got this from my mom, is heights. I'm more afraid of falling. I hate the falling rides. Like, I hate Tower of Terror, Guardians ride. I mean, I don't hate it now because it's Guardians because it's more fun than Tower of Terror. But like, I hate that sensation of dropping. Even elevators sometimes like make me feel woozy. I hate heights a lot. So one time at Disneyland, because we had annual passes all growing up, California Adventure had just opened. I had never been on a Ferris wheel. There's that huge Ferris wheel at California Adventure. There's a little cart like swing. I was with my aunt and my cousins. We were experiencing California Adventure for the first time in like the early 2000s. And I was like, sure, let's go on the Ferris wheel. It's new. My aunt's like, oh, we should go on the swinging one. That sounds like fun. And my mom was like, okay. So we go on the swinging one and you know, it gets to that point where you're in that perfect position and you're the inside and you swing out so it looks like you're gonna fall off the ferris wheel it's terrifying <laughs> we were at that point that sweet point where you swing off <laughs> my mom starts cussing up a storm this is the first time i think i've ever heard my mom say the f word she made the ride stop you're supposed to go around twice get me off this ride <laughs> Never yet been on that ride until a few years ago. <laughs> this next one is probably the closest thing that I will ever get to like haunting. I don't want to talk about it because it freaks me out, okay? I hate this about myself. I have night terrors. Not frequently, only when I'm in a place that I'm not comfortable or I forget where I am. Sometimes when I'm at like Christine's family home in New Jersey, I like forget where I am because it's so dark in that room and there's like no noise. I usually need like a white noise. <laughs> One time I like totally kicked Christine because I didn't know who she was. That's like a low night terror. And usually I think someone is out to get me. Now the worst time this has ever happened, this is one of my biggest fears when I'm sleeping in a hotel room that is not familiar to me and I'm with different people. My senior trip to San Francisco, I was in a room with six girls. We had like two queen beds and then we took one of the mattresses from our leader's room and put it in between. This was one of the first times I have been in a hotel room for a really long time with different people. In the middle of the night, totally forgot where I was, completely asleep, woke up screaming, screaming so loud. I ended up rolling off the bed towards the middle where the mattress was onto one of my friends. I thought she was an intruder. Started going like this. Finally I woke up and everyone was terrified of me. <laughs> Actually this happened recently too in Scotland. Good old Scotland. <laughs> the first night Sasha and I were in Scotland. I had night terror that Sasha didn't know about because I didn't scream. Usually I scream and I like hit somebody. I don't know if they're like a stranger? I thought someone was coming into our room. We're kind of staying in a hostel, but we have like our own room. We just had to share a bathroom and like the door didn't really lock well. So I had those fears going to sleep. I wake up in the middle of the night thinking someone was coming through our door <laughs> and the door's like on this side of the room. There's a mirror on the wall on this side. Do I go over the door? No. I go over to the mirror, I'm asleep, and I start going like this. But I remember feeling up the sides of the mirror and like making sure that no one came through the door, but it was a mirror. My mom has these. Thanks, Mom. My last fear. This one's a bit ridiculous. Santa! I was terrified of Santa. I think this has a lot to do with like stranger dangers coming into my home. I did not want him in my home. I wanted him nowhere near me. One Christmas, my mom did such a good job. We had Christmas at my home, so we went to bed kind of late. My twin brother and I shared a room at the time. We both had twin beds in one room, and my brother wasn't in his bed yet, and we were about to fall asleep. The window was open, and I was near the window. The jingle of bells started ringing through the night air. Oh! I pulled the covers up over my head. I was like, Santa, go away, he's coming. The next morning, I wake up. My stockings were on the ends of our bed. Santa was in my room. Santa was, Santa was, Santa, Santa, Santa was in my room. I had like a meltdown. I was so terrified. I didn't care what was in the stocking. I couldn't get over the fact that this big red man came into my room and put a stocking in my, and saw me sleep. Like, oh my gosh, this is terrifying. Like, if you think of it, it's like Krampus. Oh, and it's actually really creepy if you think about it. Why do parents tell you that a big red man comes down through the chimney to give you presents and like enters into your home? That's like against everything that we know as humans. You don't let strangers into your homes, but sure, you let Santa in.
All right, those are my top four fears. If you guys share any fears with me, please let me know it down below. Check out Mary Rose. I have a link down below. It comes out October 17th. And thank you so much to Adapt Students for sending me a new scary book. I can't wait to read it this Halloween season. Thank you all very much for watching. I'm Natasha. I'll see you all next week with a new video. I upload videos every Thursday. Keep calm and fangirl on. Bye!